Hello everyone and welcome back to the shop. Right, today we're going to start our project, our wireless temperature, humidity, possibly central heating control system. Uh, to start off with, I've got a wall mounted box, a couple of switches, a Nokia display and a little bit of Vero board for the switches and we're going to machine this out and get these switches and this LCD panel mounted in. Right guys, I've machined the outer case out as you saw and what I've done is I've got the uh, Nokia displays just held in with white tack, blue tack, anything else and now I'm going to try and hot melt glue it permanently in place. Uh, hopefully this will be successful. Check. It don't look too bad. No, nope, I don't look too bad. Get that to actually set a bit. Maybe I can get some through the hole down. Same on the other side here through the hole. Too far that way because uh, the switch is there. I don't want to impede the switches. Right, it's hot melt glue in place. Let's give me a knife for me and then see if I can just. that glue underneath. Not too worried about the cobwebs at this stage. Right. Okay. Right, that's the display in. Now I need to work on the buttons. We've got three buttons. What I might try and do is keep that lower. Uh, about the middle now, a bit over, I think. And yep, yep, that would be nice. Oh. Switch my soldier iron on. Now what do I want? I want the button right, so go over here. Is that the right place? Right. Another black button. Over here. Is that right? 
push that one through. There's that one. I think I'm a out by one. And I'm actually going to move him all down by one, actually. No, I'm not. I'm going to keep it as it was. Right. Let's just offer it up. Yep, I've got the spacing right. Let's glue these buttons down. Trying to keep a bit of pressure on to keep them nice and flat. I think they're good. A bit more sold up. Obviously got to break tracks and do things like that, but let's just see how this looks at the moment. Okay, that's how it's gonna look at the moment. Your three buttons. Right now to do some connections. Right, I'm gonna have this top line as the common. Uh, this switch. Better check that I've got these all right around. And then let's just check. Yeah, I've got the switch the right way around. Right, so this is the common. This switch will be this line. So I need to get a, get a drill. Let's break. We need to break the track there. Break the track there. Now I'm going to be quite lazy, you can put a jumper wire, but I'm just going to put a bridge, so I want to go between there, between there, so basically common, this line here is the middle switch, this line here is the outer switch and this one here is the red one right I need to get my connectors uh, but I need the pins this side so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them like this then push them through Come on. and we'll just let's solder one in place place we'll try to okay it's not moving anywhere ah. can't get the solder on it's a thin solder Let's just get that there. Oh, come on. That one there, and that one there. Okay, that's our pins. A bit of a clean up required. Okay, right, let's uh, take the uh, Blue tack, white tack, off. All right, that's our LCD totally fixed. All right, here's our button assembly. I'm going to put a uh, DHT22 in here. OK. 
okay. That looks just marvellous. Uh, switch my soldier and iron up. Right, let's have a look. So that's four wire, four again, so I'll say one, two, three, four. And again, I'm going to do the same. And have another four connectors. Oh yes, that'd be beautiful. Absolutely rocking, as they say. La la la. Alright, solder, solder, solder. Wait, hot enough here. Yep. Alright. Just make sure it's sitting nice and flat. Beautiful. Right, that's those four connectors. Now what we do need to do is we need to put a 4.7k We need to put a 4.7k between uh, the supply and the signal as a pull-up resistor which is these two here. Again I might cheat again uh, basically because I haven't got any lead uh, feed through components, but I do have a surface mount, so I use that, and this is 4.7k. So I'm just going to bridge track with one of these, or try to. Right, what I'm going to do is get a bit of solder in there. Try and find my tweezers, which I can't. There they are. Okay, it's not pretty. Let's do the job. So we've got a surface mount pull up resistor between there. And what we have to do is get this in. Of solder. Come on. Right, that's, uh, that's in place. Just do the other. Okay, that's the uh, that's the pin to the DHT. Thingy. Right, so that sits there. Sensors at the bottom, obviously. Heat rises. Still got to get some standoffs. Wrong 
have to measure that and get some standoffs somehow. And get that fixed. Right, back in a mo. Right, okay, I found some offsets. Uh, it was actually part of a, a battery holder. And I've cut the corners off and I've glued them in place. And now the board's glued in. And these are almost flush. It's probably, they're only probably sticking out about one mil, maybe less than that. So this is what it looks like at the moment. And this concludes part one. Uh, obviously part two will be probably connecting it up and a bit of programming. Okay, thanks for watching. Look out for part two.